Hi Grade 11s, welcome to today's video in which we are looking at how to protect your document. You'll see it's the same document that I used when we did the content controls. I've still got the developer tab open. Right, so we want to protect our document. We're going to go to file. What we're going to do is we're going to go to info. And here we'll see an option that says protect document. And when I click on the little down arrow, you will see um, I've got different options like always open read only, encrypt with a password, restrict editing, access, add a signature. We've got a number of things, but I'm just going to look at these two and I'm going to say encrypt with a password. I then put in a password and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to be asked to enter that again and click OK. All right. So now when I let's say I'm going to open um, another document here. Um, let's just go with this one. And then I'm going to go back to that one. Okay, let's just close that. I want to save the changes. Yes, I'm going to close this as well. It's got the desktop. And when I want to open this document, remember I put a password on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it will open that. So now I've added through info and protect the document, I've added a password. Okay. Um, and you can always go and change the password there. Right. Then let's say now I want to restrict the editing. Okay. That I can even do from the developer tab. It's going to bring up the exact same thing over here. And yeah, I can put limits on what the person can do in terms of formatting. I can limit what the person can do in terms of um, editing as well. You can see there's a number of options over there uh, and I can decide when I want to enforce it. Okay. So let's say the person is only given access to fill in forms. Again, I put in a password uh, and I click OK. So now when the person tries to do anything else, look, I can't even click on those things, anything else other than filling in the form, it won't give them permission. However, if they know the password, they can click on stop protection, pop in the password, and it will then allow them to click on that. Okay, so remember file, info, and then protect your document. This is where we will make um, the changes as to how we want to protect our document by putting in a password, restricting access, restricting editing, etc.